In previous tutorials, I've gone over a method of duplicating objects around a circle where an object is rotated and stamped in multiple places. This is a really useful technique for any Inkscape user to know, and I've had a lot of people ask me how to do something like this in the past, so I feel like this deserves a video of its own. This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can stamp an object around a circle using Inkscape. But before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about Inkscape, be sure to check out the Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Inkscape, the first thing we want to do is just set up the document so that we are all working with a similar layout. Up here where it says view, make sure you have custom selected and then come up here to where it says zoom and zoom in at one to one. And to get us started here, as you can see, I have this example object just for demonstrative purposes. You don't have to use this object. You can use whatever object you'd like. If you want to follow along, you can use a circle or a star or a letter or whatever you'd like. So if you zoom in on this object over here, I'm just going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in. I have this object selected with the select tool and by default it gives us the scaling handles over here that allows us to scale the image. But if you click on the object again, you'll get the rotation handles which allows us to rotate the image or the object around a center point. And the center point is located right here. It may be difficult for you to see on my screen, but it's this little crosshair right here. This represents the axis on which the object rotates. And you can actually move that around. If you take this and move this over here to the side, you'll notice that now the object rotates around that, that point right there. Now let me undo that by pressing Control Z. And you can take this center point and move this anywhere. You can move this all the way out here if you want to. And now it'll rotate around that axis. Okay, so, and if, at any point, if you want to put the rotation center back in the middle of the object, all you have to do is hold shift and click on it and it'll place it right back in the middle. So if you wanted to take this object and duplicate it around a circle, we can take advantage of this feature right here. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel. I'm going to take this little crosshair and I'm going to bring this down here, but I'm going to hold control so it locks it onto the vertical axis. We want to come straight down like this, all the way down here. Now what you can do is you can take this rotation handle in the corner here and rotate this around in a circle. And to create duplicate copies of this, what you can do is, as you're rotating it, you could press the space bar. And every time you press the space bar, it'll stamp a copy of it, as you see happening on my screen. Now let me go ahead and undo that. If you want to take this object and rotate it in such a way that you create a symmetrical shape with each with each individual object being equally spaced apart. What you can do is while you're rotating, hold the control key and it will lock the rotation onto 15 degree increments. So you can start here, go there, there. And as you see, I am creating a symmetrical shape where this object is being stamped around a circle. Okay, so let's say you wanna take this shape and wrap it around a circle that has a predetermined size. So let me move this out of the way. Let's create a circle here. The circles and ellipses tool. I'm going to click and drag, hold control to create a perfectly round circle. Let's say you have a circle like this. And let's say it's sized at, let me just change the size to 200 pixels. Let's say you want to wrap this around a 200 pixel circle. What you, what you can do is you can take this object here. Let me get rid of these objects. You can take this object here, select it, hold shift, click on this object here, the circle. And let's open up the uh, alignment menu over here where it says align and distribute objects. And I want to make sure I have last selected chosen from this drop down. And where I want to align it is right here where it says uh, align bottom edges of objects to the top edge of the anchor. So it's going to stack it right on top of the circle. And then I want to center it up on the vertical axis. So it's going to put it in the center of this object and it's going to put it on the top of this object like this. Now let me click off of it to deselect everything. Let me zoom in a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to take this object and wrap it around this circle. So what I want to do is take the center point or that crosshair for this object and place it in the center of the circle. And the way to do that to make sure that it's exactly in the center of the circle, what you could do is you could turn on snapping up here where it says enable snapping. Turn that on if it's not on already. And over here, what we're looking for, snap centers of objects. Click on that. Snap an item's rotation center. We want to click on that. 
We want to make sure this is the important one right here, snap and items rotation center. This will make it so that when you grab that little crosshair, it'll snap it into the center of the objects you place it over. So let me click on this again to get back to the rotation handles. And there's the center point as it already is. Let me just shift click that to put that back in the center as if we were starting fresh. Now I'm going to take this crosshair and I'm going to snap it into the center of the circle. And if you notice, it automatically snaps it right into the center there. And what you could do now is you can rotate this around. You can hold control and go through and stamp this. And again, at each position, you just press the space bar and it's stamping it around the circle like that. And that should do it for today's tutorial. That is how you can go about uh, duplicating objects around a circle using Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.